Hello, I'm Steve Boyle from Eastlands.com and I'm absolutely delighted to welcome Nick Murphy and Chris O'Dowd here with their second uh, Moon Boy book, Irish Book Award winners last year. That's right. And another great book uh, from Macmillan. Um, quick question, I mean obviously Moon Boy TV series is on Sky, does really really brilliantly, but is that kind of like in the evening time? Is there a kind of a different approach for storytelling for you when you're when you're writing the book as to when you're kind of writing the, the, the script for the TV? Yes. Well, I, you know, it's, it's a similar audience in that we like to think that they're both family oriented, but this is skews slightly younger, I guess, with kind of like eight to twelve year olds, whereas the other one is, can be a little, the TV show can be a little bit naughtier. Yes. Um, but we still hope that it's kind of smart enough that uh, that older kids and parents will enjoy reading it as well. Yeah, there's lots of jokes for grown ups as well, you know. So it's kind of for everyone, but the book is more. Um, we don't have like separate adult storylines that okay. we did in the TV show. That it's this is really much more from Martin's perspective. Yeah, could yeah. be the one big difference, I suppose. Yeah, so you, and it all comes from this kind of same pool of ideas that you you work on. Well, I guess our own childhoods mostly. Yeah. Um, you know, it's obviously set in Boy, where I'm from, mm -hmm. and it's kind of similar to my family. And then we needed kind of a nerdy, stupid. Um, a socially inept right. uh, um, kid to base them, and then we come and use Nick um, for the. <laughs> <laughs> the hits. He's mostly the you know the Martin character. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Um, and uh, in relation, as I said, the Irish Book Award last year. Tell us a little bit about the Fish Detective, who he is, and uh, or what he is, or, or well, the Fish like Detective is Martin. Really. Is Martin okay? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The story starts. It's like the build up to Christmas. Yeah. And basically, Martin mm -hmm. is really hoping to get a Game Boy for Christmas. Okay. But his parents are broke as usual, so there's not much chance of him actually getting that. Mm -hmm. So. So his imaginary friend advises him to, to get a job and, and, and see if he can earn the money to get it himself. And so that leads Martin to get his first job. Uh, as a butcher boy. As a, as butcher, a butcher boy. <laughs> yeah. Boyle's butcher boy. Boyle's first butcher boy. Um, but while he's there, um, the butcher is, is doing very badly. Mm -hmm. And it's in the run up to Christmas and nobody's buying any turkeys because okay. it's all fish, fish, fish. The town's gone fish mad. That's a bit crazy. Yeah, festive fish. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> they're so cheap and beautifully filleted, and they can't understand how. Right. So Martin is sent to the fish factory to go undercover to discover what's going on. Because. He's like a fish mole. He's like a fish mole. He's trying out these secrets for the butcher lady. Yeah. Fish PI. Fish yeah. PI, exactly. Martin PI. Martin PI. <laughs> Yeah, and everything you got used to get a bit of pouring and everything in this, and it's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah pork, yeah. you know, pork betrays him. Yeah, um, it's a big falling out. It's falling out, but then they get back together, okay. and then they fall out again, <laughs> and then they they kind of don't mind each other. They don't each other. Yeah, then there's apathy. Yeah, they both sleepy for a while. Yeah, and then they're, they're hungry. <laughs> just every emotion you can yeah. imagine. Got everything. Got everything. <laughs> um, books, big book readers. Um, what and any yeah. recommendations? Don't read big books. <laughs> Don't read big books. Yeah. Um, any books that you've read recently that you can recommend, or that anything that you're kind of particularly looking forward to for Christmas? I just bought Purity. I'm looking for uh, John Sarandon, so I'm looking forward to getting into that. Super. Yeah. That'll keep you going for a while. Yeah, it's a biggie, isn't it? It's a big book. I read. Uh, well, I've got a four-year-old boy, so I recently read the entire box set of the Mister Men books. Oh wow! Yeah. And we didn't read them in order first. Oh. And then we read them in order. <coughs> and it makes a lot more sense, actually. Right. Wow. You really know what's going on if yes. you read them in the order. Oh, continuity thing. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of uh, kids, um, when you open the book, first page, there's dedications, obviously. Um, and you both had uh, a boy during the, the we book. We both had babies. You both yeah. had babies during the book. both had yeah. baby boys. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. I know. I feel like That's amazing the, the testosterone <laughs> came off the page for Martin. Um, he's very masculine, yeah. macho kind That's of character. Kind of right. and, um, <laughs> and flowed out of us, I suppose, into our, um, into nice. our fathering. <laughs> <laughs> The Fish Detective is out now in all Eastern Stores and Eastern.com. Nick, Chris, thank you so much hey, for this. Thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>